A Michigan judge has set bail at $500,000 each for the parents of a teenager accused of murdering four fellow high school students with a weapon the couple bought him as a Christmas gift. Appearing by video link from jail for the arraignment, James and Jennifer Crumbly both pleaded not guilty to four counts of voluntary manslaughter. Details in this report. The parents of the teenage suspect in the November 30th Oxford High School shooting in Michigan, which killed four students, have been arrested. And police say the couple was attempting to escape authorities when they were caught, although their lawyers deny they fled. James and Jennifer Crumbly pled not guilty to involuntary manslaughter charges at a court arraignment early Saturday, just hours after their arrest. A manhunt was sparked after they had failed to appear at their first arraignment the day before and had stopped responding to calls from their attorneys. Police say they were arrested at what appeared to be a residential building someone had let them into and had withdrawn $4,000 in cash from an ATM. Prosecutors say the couple bought their son, Ethan, the handgun only four days before the incident and that they had failed to act on warning signs about him including that morning when the school summoned them over disturbing and violent drawings from Ethan. Richard Kaplan is a criminal defense attorney. Generally, parents are charged when they have some prior knowledge that there's a risk involved with the child. Um, you know, the, the easiest analogy is kind of like the dog bite case. You know, if your dog bites somebody, that's an accident. If people have been complaining your dog's aggressive and there's all these problems or they've been to somebody else before, then, you know, you have greater liability. The drawings included a handgun, a bleeding figure, and the words, the thoughts won't stop, help me. The parents resisted taking Ethan out of class. After they left, authorities say the shooting happened. The U.S. Marshals and Oakland County authorities were also involved in the search for the Crumblies. The Crumblies' lawyers say they weren't fleeing law enforcement and had intended to return. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.